there's this notion when it comes to issues of online security and what does it mean for you offline in the real world that this is incredibly complex and because of that it's an issue only for either the it crowd, the IT folks to handle, or the man on horseback to come in and save the day for you. You know, hand this off to the military, hand this off to the NSA. It's not about the software. It's not about the hardware. It's about the wetware. It's about the people. And if you understand that, you can better deal with the threats out there in terms of you understand people, their awareness, their incentives, and the organizations that they're in. They found that the top 20 controls, very simple measures of cyber hygiene, if we implemented those, 94% of all cyber attacks would fail. Now, some people will go, oh, but I'm really, really special. I'm really, really important. I'm in the 6% that their really advanced stuff is going after. Well, go talk to your IT folks. First, you're probably not in that. I hate to tell you that. But second, even if you are, they would say, if I didn't have to spend 94% of my time running around with the low-level stuff, I could better deal with the advanced stuff. But even on top of that, the advanced stuff is sneaking in through these low-level attacks that could have been stopped by very basic cyber hygiene. So, for example, the most important uh, cyber attack on the U.S. military from the outside in terms of its success that penetrated into our classified networks happened because a soldier found a memory stick in the dirt in a parking lot and thought it was a good idea to pick it up, take it inside the base, and plug it into his computer. That's not just basic cyber hygiene. That's basic hygiene. That's a five-second rule. To still today, what's the most popular password? Password. What's the second most popular password? One, two, three, four, five. If we've got that kind of thinking, that kind of operation, of course we're going to be vulnerable. But it also goes to higher level um, actions that we can collectively take.